This is a small, uh, oh, about two and a half gallon spherical tank. Um, this is uh, not filtered. The motion of the plants, that's the, uh, there's a water pump just to circulate, uh, give some circulation to the tank. And uh, quite a lot of plant growth, um, and that's of course providing all the filtration. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this method. And uh, currently there are uh, three small Indian dwarf puffers, I see one there. And then uh, there are two uh, sparkling gouramis, and there's also a, uh, a, a mono shrimp. And that is really pushing it, given how small this tank is. So um, it's been going for about three weeks, and it's been highly successful. The plants are going crazy. I uh, dosed a, a CO2 tablet yesterday, and literally overnight, the plants just seem to just absolutely go bananas and they stood upright and spread out and so that was very effective. The uh, substrate is, uh, is a mixture of aqua soil <clears throat> and some other just sort of standard um, gravel type, pea gravel. But um, the plants have been really spectacular and they're doing all the work as far as the filtration goes. These, these little puffers are great. You know, it's often said that they're very aggressive, can't be kept with other fish, and that's just not my experience. They've had no quarrels with the little grammies in here. And, uh, you know, given the small space of the tank, you'd think you might get more conflict in a scenario like that, but that's not been the case at all. There's been absolutely no aggression whatsoever. They haven't messed with the shrimp. Uh, they get bloodworms every day. Uh, they seem to really love the plants. They're constantly hunting. And I think being in this type of environment, um, that really invites, there, okay, there's all three of them, that really invites that kind of behavior. Because I think this kind of simulates uh, somewhat in their natural environment. So they're constantly on the lookout for prey. So they'll get, uh, they'll get blood worms twice a day. And that seems to keep them pretty happy. So I'm just using a standard um, lamp that I bought at Target. I think that is a 40 watt bulb in there. And that seems to be adequate for uh, keeping the, uh, you know, the plants nice and happy in terms of uh, the amount of light that they get. They get about uh, eight hours of light a day. And uh, again, there's no, there's no artificial uh, filtration or external filtration, and it seems to be working out great. Uh, fish are doing well, no diseases. And I'll keep monitoring this. I'm probably going to have to trim down the, uh, the plants because they're they're starting to obscure the light down at the lower end, so some of these smaller plants down here are going to be denied, uh, you know, enough light to grow. So, um, but you can see here, I'll just give you a shot. You can see it's it's getting really congested up here up top with all the uh, the lilies that are putting their leaves up to the top to soak up all the rays. So, anyway, uh, again, this is only about 2.5 gallons or so. I'm going to, uh, in, the, in the near future, go to uh, a uh, much larger tank, similar to this one, it will probably house about eight gallons, so I can be a little bit more adventurous, but so far this one's turned out quite nice. There's some driftwood in the back as well. Thanks for watching.